It's my father-in-law's birthday in about three days. I didn't get him a gift, but I know that he's rocking this for a PC. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get him a new one, but there's three rules. The first is that the budget for a new laptop is about 500 ish dollars. And rule two is I can do zero research, which is gonna kill me because I usually do three months worth of research for buying any type of gear, but we're in a bit of a time crunch, so no research. And the last rule is that it has to be in my local Austin area. I'm gonna try Walmart. There's no staples here, so Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. Let's start with Walmart. Typically at Walmart, you can find a nice selection of entry-level laptops, but at my local Walmart, literally all of their laptop selection was either cracked or damaged, which is just not going to work. So it looks like we're going to pack it up and head over to Target to see if we have better luck there. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was expecting from Target, but they only had about five working laptops on display, so it was an immediate nope. It's time to go to my favorite place on earth, Best Buy. It's like my Sephora. It's like my happy place. There's such a great selection of laptops here from entry level to pro grade. We should have started here, but you got to save the best for last. The things I'm looking for here are the brilliance of the screen, the durability of the chassis, and of course the specs. After about five minutes of pretending like I know what I'm doing, I picked a laptop, gained a subscriber, checked out, and headed home. All right, so we're back in the studio, which is just my spare bedroom, but we picked up the HP NV 15.6 inch two in one laptop and let's go ahead and get it unboxed so we can get some first impressions. Oh, that's a nice tab right there. Oh, this is heavy. First impressions, it's a heavy one. Ah! Charging brick kind of feels like cloth. It's uh, pretty nice. Now this is a gift as I mentioned, so I'm gonna try to be really gentle with the packaging. So first impressions after unboxing it, uh, it feels pretty solid, but it's pretty hefty. It's 4.4 pounds and you can definitely feel it get a little workout in there. So this laptop can come in a bunch of different configurations right out of the box, but out of my box, I got the AMD Ryzen 5 7530 series processor with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. So while this device isn't gonna be amazing for gaming or anything like that, it's gonna be a pretty solid device for students, people using your computer for just casual purposes like writing papers and streaming stuff on the interwebs. The colorway that I opted for was the black, or they call it midnight, black. And the first thing I like to do with a black computer is to see how uh, resistant it is to fingerprints. And my fingerprints aren't really showing up at all, which is kind of nice. I know some of the Apple MacBook Pros are fingerprint magnets, but this one seems to be pretty solid. Might take it back with the fingerprints. You can kind of see them, but they're not really terrible. Okay, so let's talk about the build quality. Feels pretty solid. It feels like a brick, honestly. And it takes, you gotta use two hands to open it. I know people are really into, is it one hand openable or do you need two? You need two for this one. I don't think it came pre-charged with any juice in it, but it does have fast charging and it promotes zero to 50% in 30 minutes. Let's test that out now. Why not? 20 minutes later. All right, we just plugged it into the charger for just uh, 20 minutes here. I thought the box was capping when it said 50% charge in 30 minutes, but it's, it's fast charging from 0% after 20 five-ish minutes, 20 minutes, we're already at 87%, which is wild, no longer need that. Yeah, I wasn't really buying the fast charging working in actually 30 minutes, but 87% don't lie. So next up, I wanna talk about the screen a bit, and it's a micro edge display, so the bezels are super thin. So it feels like the screen is like a lot bigger than it actually is. 15.6 is 15.6, but when the bezels are really thin, it kind of makes the screen feel a lot bigger. And again, at the $500 price point, one of my biggest concerns was the muddy screens. And this screen for this price point is probably the best I've seen. It looks really liquid, really smooth, but as far as brightness, it's only coming up to about 250 nits. That should be fine if you're indoors working, but if you take this puppy outside and try to get some work done in like a nice little park, you might struggle because 250 nits is like a little bit, a little bit lower than what it should be to work outside. So one of the first things I like to do when I open up any computer is feel out the keyboard. How does it feel? First of all, like the aluminum build is pretty sturdy. Like there's no flex in the keyboard and the key travel is great. Like it feels like a solid keyboard. It doesn't feel cheap at all, which is really impressive because at the $500 price point, you can get some pretty cheap feeling keyboards. This is not that. So all in all, there's great key travel, a ton of area for your palms. It's a really comfy typing experience. I don't feel too cramped and it feels like just the perfect size keyboard. It's probably my model that's faulty, but the escape key isn't like really escaping anything. It just says subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Every time I press it, um, just to be safe, we should probably follow the computer's instructions. 
Directly on the box of this laptop, they're flexing the Bang & Olufsen, I don't think I pronounced that right, speakers here, and let's see how they sound. I, love a with some fine oh, I gotta watch this later, this is a dope music video. The speaker quality sounded really full, but it wasn't the best speakers I've ever heard on a laptop. It got pretty loud, but when it started to get a bit louder, the clarity and quality started to diminish a little bit in my opinion, but that's just me. Now onto the trackpad, which is probably the most surprising feature on this laptop so far. I'm pretty skeptical about any trackpad that's not a Mac OS trackpad. Mac OS just does trackpads so well, like it's really hard to compete with that experience. But this Envy, it's not bad. It's pretty smooth. A lot of times I get a lot of friction on my fingertips with the trackpad and that's super annoying. I'm not getting that with the Envy, which is nice to see. So next up we can talk, oh my God, I dinged it. So next up we can talk ports and on this, it looks like we are getting a USB type A, an HDMI, two USB type Cs, another USB type A and a headphone jack and an SD card reader. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see two of the USB type A's on here. Those are the old school ones, but I'm not mad at it. I feel like my father-in-law still like plugs things in using USB type A, like printers and whatever else you plug into laptops. So for most people getting this laptop, you shouldn't need any extra dongles. You have your headphone jack, USB-Cs, an HDMI, SD reader if you're a creator. Pretty much got everything you need as far as ports are concerned. Oh, that's wild. Oh, that's crazy. This next feature is super cool. It's a physical slider for the webcam. I've seen some people put like actual tape over the webcam when they don't want to be recorded by the government. This uh, computer is all for it. It's like, hey, government ain't gonna get you. I got a little slider for you. You're good to go. You're safe, you're secure, relax. And since I did absolutely no research when it came to buying this laptop, it's a touchscreen. I found that out in store, but I had no idea that it folds. Like it's a two in one, jeez Louise. So this is cool if you're ever doing a presentation, you can kind of set it up like this, use it as another monitor, or like you can watch TV on it like this, scroll around, use your finger to swipe. Fantastic. I haven't used a two-in-one since 2016, but it's definitely an amazing little feature to just kind of like flip your laptop into a tablet anytime you want and use it as a fully working 15.6 inch tablet. Oh, that's wild. Like, look at that. Is that not like a, just a crazy massive tablet? Now, I never know what to do with the backside of a 2-on-1 laptop. Like, does this just like squish on your lap when you're using it or what? I feel like I don't have any place for my thumbs because like there's no bezels, which is great for viewing. But like, where do you put your thumbs when you're doing? I don't want to put my thumbs on the screen because it's a nice screen. When I set out to find a laptop that was under $500 that would suffice for web browsing and some light work, I was not expecting to find a laptop as good as the HP Envy. This sounds like an ad, it's not. I'm just literally surprised at how good this is for only $499. That's it for this one, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.